So a midweek treat, or it may be a trick, as we're off to the Grand Hotel in Scarborough for the first night, which has been rated quite badly online. And also the company behind it, Britannia Hotels, is the worst rated hotel chain in the UK. So we're gonna see what that's really like, because I know a lot of you may have stayed there or thinking about a cheap break there. Um, I have to confess I've upgraded to have a window in the room. Um, so it's a bit more luxury but um, then tomorrow we're going to be trying out the world's best bed and breakfast which is also in Scarborough just down the road so according to TripAdvisor reviews for three years running this is the best place to stay in the world when it comes to a good old-fashioned B&B just about to head past one of Scarborough's hidden gems or not so hidden but unknown is Stephen Joseph Theatre so it's one of the only cinemas in the town and theatres and um, but it's also got a very nice cafe apparently according to TripAdvisor so I'm gonna take a look in there um but funnily in Scarborough there's only one full-time cinema and that's Hollywood Plaza which again is a hidden gem in its own right and um, it's right by the coast and it's proper old school and a lovely lovely place to go to watch a good old film. There is the Grand Hotel so it's very well placed and it's a Nicholas Cliff. It is supposed to be haunted though as well. It looks all right from the outside. Yeah, and bon the Bronte, the writer, blue plaque on the wall. It's the day where they've just put up the thousandth blue plaque has English heritage. Just parking up, so you have to pay for a permit about seven pounds from the grand. And um, there is some very pretty views. Well, let's take a look inside. Just going up to the room now, we've got to change lifts to get to the sixth floor. It does feel very uh, traditional. Are we say. in the top? We're at six. No, we're in the top. Have you got me well, in the Well, six, the top. I don't know. Oh, my God. We're here. I told my husband Dan to stop being <laughs> so pessimistic because he said, hey, if you paid 40 quid for a window, it'll be opposite a wall. And we've just walked in. <laughs> Come on, open window, love. There's a kind of, looks more like a queen size bed than double bed, but never no, mind. Come out for the view. Oh, room with a view. You've got old coat bottles. Fucking castle turret, love. You can't see out of it, love. Listen. I don't push that back, so I'm not going to know you're about. <laughs> it's a cosy bath. Oh, it's a cosy bath. Only best. Look at that. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? Well, we'd remind you of your youth. Remind me of my youth. I looks like something out of space, Jim. <laughs> So we've realised we're staying in a turret, which is like a circular room, which is why we've got that view of seagull mess out there and a turret. turret. We're not staying in this turret. Well, no, we're going to go see if we can uh, get another room because there's also urine stains and smell and wetness on the bed. So I've gone for an afternoon nap and I thought, this is wet and it's lumpy and there's a uh, duvet under here. When you put duvet back, it's wet through, pea stained, oh well, and this has been weighed on and just covered up. 
and I've laid on this and I felt it and it didn't feel good. What another room here. Let's get us out of here. So the woman, to be fair, is very nice on reception and this is the only other room they've got. So they've had to upgrade us. We've got a sea view room. Um, it's a twin bed. So we'll just come in and it is nice and bright. There's the lovely seagulls pooping on the window, but you can see the sea. It's nicer than the other room. Right, which bed do you want? Whichever. Does the a lot work? Yeah. Good. Oh, and it's a bit bigger TV. Yeah, there's no remote. That's all there. But, uh... So that one's a lot better. We just realised there's no Wi-Fi there, so... We won't be reporting live, that's for sure, unless you pay seven pound foot day. I'm not paying seven quid. <laughs> so you can also pay a surcharge to get half board, so you get tea, or you don't have to be a resident. You can wait in queue for tea. The lamp was flickering. It is haunted. So we've stayed the night in the presidential suite, as you can see behind me. This is ultimate luxury here at the Grand Scarborough. It does have good views, minus a lot of seagull poo on all the windows, which it does warn you about before you come. Don't feed the seagulls. We haven't fed them. They've just already been well fed for probably a few hundred years. Um, but as you can see, it's a nice view if you can look past the seagull poo. Um, from here. It does feel a lot nicer down here. The beds aren't as prison-like um, and it's a bit cleaner. You could smell bleach in the bathroom. There was no dripping tap, no urine on the bed or brown marks on the linen. So, you know, so far so goodish. Um, but we're going to try the breakfast now. So I've seen big cues for the food, so I'm expecting great things. Although when I did go in last night, didn't give me the best of aromas, so let's try it again. It's breakfast time. So it's nice views from this window. Of course, there's seagulls making its mark as well. The breakfast is basic, but there are some hot stuff. Um, I rarely turn my nose up at a fry up, especially if there's veggie stuff, which they're in. So instead, oat burst and some uh, tinned fruit. Old school mandarins. So we just finished breakfast. I decided to go for a pot of porridge because it was sealed. Um, and Dan did try the full English <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I felt my stomach turn seeing the other stuff. Um, Dan tried the full English but didn't succeed in eating it. But he did have the beans and some toast in your love. So, you know, for a hostel, it, it is pretty good, <laughs> pretty good breakfast. I've stayed in a few hostels. All right, look at that. Just in case you lose it. And now we're off to Tulson Court Hotel, um, which is the bed and breakfast that's been voted the world's best three years running on TripAdvisor. So let's go take a look from South Bay to North Bay. So the flags are out and we have arrived at Tulson Court, just near Pease Home Park, awarded best B&B in the world three years running. Let's go check it out. Well, this is a million miles away from where we stayed last night. You get your face wipes, sanitised toilet and toilet paper, little touches in the room. Oh, I'd say it's a home from home. This is much nicer there than my home. It's, it has been an amazing experience for us and it's an amazing thing that, that has happened to win best B&B in the world. But it, it's down to the guests that come and visit us. Um, they love what we do, they love what we have to offer. Uh, it's just fabulous. It's great fun, but it's hard work. To be fair, when we first got the phone call, we were driving back from York and we didn't believe it. We thought somebody was playing a prank. And we still, for about 10 minutes, thought they were playing a prank until they sent us an email which pinged on my watch while I was driving. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's true. Because you just, 
putting in perspective, we're just an ordinary B&B in Scarborough and it, it's just an amazing thing that we can win best B&B in the world. We're competing with all these other B&Bs that are fabulous places, but it's down to value for money as well. And that, that's what our, our play is really, isn't it? So just packing up today, not because we want to leave this place, but because we're on TV. But I'm a little bit more excited after a good night's sleep for this nice breakfast. Snug, it? it is nice you know and snug. Like, when I first come here, I thought oh, it is a little bit, bit small, but it's nice and snug. Yeah. I've enjoyed it because basically it's bed, TV, everything that you want. There's even a sewing kit in there. Yeah, I know. Sewing socks up. I had my face wipes as well yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Everything. It's got everything and the hospitality is so second this, to this none. Is, this is the smallest room. Yeah. I've been out, I could stay in here for a week. You've got plenty of wardrobe space. Yeah. Lovely shower. Well, yeah, you're not joking, which talk stay it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, only small breakfast. Is that a small? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That looks amazing. Enjoy. I'm sure I shall. Thank you. Yeah, that. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So we're full up after a mega breakfast. We even got a little treat, rock and a mug to take home. And all my days, we will definitely be returning. I think this is the only place we're going to be staying when we come to Scarborough. And you can see why it's the very true Yorkshire standard quality is the best in the world because it's welcoming, it's friendly, it's cosy, it's really clean, little touches, little details to make hospitality just amazing and you cannot fault this place and honestly why would you stay anywhere else? There's nothing pretentious about it, it's just good old fashioned incredible Yorkshire folk doing what they do best. Cheers.